Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macross Gacha videos. And today, it's a pretty special one because it marks the end of something within Uta Macross. So, what does that actually mean? Well, I'm sure if you guys have logged in, um, you know, today, once the server refreshed for the addition of Reina's Gacha, which is what you're here for, uh, you will notice this particular <laughs> scene. Um, so yes, there is a notification saying that there is a brand new song added um, to the memory time zone tab um, and yeah, you can actually add this brand new song into your permanent live list of songs. But there is something special regarding this. So let's take a look at the time zone. So if you tap that black hole looking icon and you notice yes the song is here and it's ready to play so yes rune hanasaku koi mo aru so it is the final song yes you heard me right it is the final song for the time zone um, space area so in the future Dana will not be using this part of the game anymore to add songs to the list however okay i'm gonna exit up here because copyrighted music anyway <laughs> in the future all permanent songs will be added um like we are so familiar with they will just be tossed into the live area you know without you having to go through play a sample of the easy mode of the songs anymore uh like we are so familiar with you know the way or they have addition of songs to the memory zone so yes so what happens if you clear this song sample right now um basically let's find out so i'm, I'm not gonna change my setup here this is actually my setup for the current event going on and i'm trying to get reina's kawawa dolls we'll talk about the the Kawawa challenge just a moment because today is actually the last day for the Kawawa challenge as well. So I'm gonna fast forward this portion because you know copyright reasons. All right, now that that's done, um, yes, like I mentioned, it is the end of the memory zone. Um, Dana will no longer be using this portion of the game and that means we have come to the end of the whole scrolling um, background image of the memory zone and yes once you've attained the last song there we go this is what we're here for a special icon appears at the end of the memory zone and of course this notification here says you know thank you for all the participation up to now within the memory time zone um, and they, they will just basically add all future songs within the live section just like that without having you to go through all that sample play anymore I guess they found it kind of pointless after all you're gonna end up playing the song again in the live section just to earn those free singing stones you know that kind of stuff so it's it's nice to see that they added a brand new end icon here which is pretty nice it's all the 10 divas together uh, that's pretty cute so so yeah now you can finally take a look at the background scroll through the entirety you know of course, if you want to do a full screenshot of each section to do like a, a panor panoramic <laughs> view of the entire thing, you can do so now. Uh, although there have been some very, very naughty people out there who data mine Uta Macross in the past and they have ripped out the entire full image long ago which is really not appreciated <laughs> um, you know it's, it's still considered stealing um, property from Dana and of course the Macross franchise uh, anyways that's the end of the memory zone um, hope you guys enjoyed 
the memory zone while it was still around throughout the well com coming four years of Utah Macross. Holy crap, I've been playing this game for far too long. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, that's it for Memory Zone. What do you guys think of it? Did you enjoy yourself uh, unlocking divas, you know, unlocking music, and enjoying Utah Macross through the four years of its run? I mean, I mean, it's, the game is still going on. It's, it's not coming to an end. <laughs> the end of Memory Zone does not mean the end of Utah Macross. Macross will not die. Or rather, they will call it uh, Macross Gatoma Radanai. So, basically, the, uh, Macross will not end. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> aside from that, we are going to talk about, of course, oh, I pressed the wrong tab. So, we're going to talk about the missions, or rather, the Kiawawa Challenge, like I mentioned earlier. Today is the last day of the challenge, just like the end of the event. So the event is gonna end roughly within another 8 hours. Kawawa challenge will end in another 11 hours so they give you a 3 hours grace period to try and collect all the other you know Kawawa dolls or rewards that you have not attained. As you can tell I've, I've got a few more divas to go through. And that's a lot of divas. So and each of them you have to play 30 songs, so that's kind of a bummer. I'm going through Reina right now. So, um, I've actually cleared Basara, Min Mei, Milane, um, and I think Freya as well. Yeah. Okay, so so those are the Kawa dolls that I've managed to clear during this event period, but you know, looking at how many there is left, um, this is what you really need to consider right now. Especially if you have been just clearing according to your diva setup within the current event itself. What you need to do to consider right now during the last 11 hours of this particular Kawawa challenge. Which Kawawa dolls do you need the most? So what you need to do is go take a look at the items which you have currently on hand. And of course, go to the second tab. Take a look at your Kiawawa doll collection. Which one do you have the least? So as you can tell, my Reina is kind of lacking right now. So this is the reason why I went straight to clearing the event songs with Reina as my center position diva, um, rather than trying to attain the rest of the divas because I have just a buttload of them. <laughs> so yes, this is what you need to consider right now with the Kiawawa challenge. Um, take a look at the Kiawawa doll collection in, in your menu and item section. Um, see which one you need the most. Go ahead, use those divas um, you know, as a center position to clear the event or if the event has ended, um, use them in songs that maybe you want to try and get um, free singing stones from like the new song that we just got <laughs> so yes that's what you need to consider um so it, i guess that's really the end of the um uh, notification and update portion of this gacha video so yes leave your thoughts on the end of memory zone the kawa challenge let, let me know which diva you need to focus on all in the comment section down below and let's get down to the well the main portion of this video so yes we finally have Ray Ray in her third Valkyrie live costume I'm so happy right now I'm just hoping that I can at least get costume points for Reina's brand new costume because that's really the bare minimum you should be focusing on so let's do this properly unlike the last video we're gonna break down the episode plate first and ooh, a total of 3952 total score that is sweet so looking at it it is Ray Ray's first six star episode plate that has the best total score available for a six star episode plate so you know looking at all the stats 1300 points or more for each of the stats ah, that is good stuff <laughs> so with the stats mentioned like this so yeah you can definitely bet that you might want to get this episode played 
in your arsenal even if you are not a Ray Ray fan. This is definitely a very powerful 6 star episode plate for Reyna and of course Makina, Ranka and Basara who are able to use this episode plate as well. The center skill, Inochi stat, um, you know the, the total is boosted by 60% up um, so that's that's pretty fantastic. I mean, all the Soul or Inochi plates, so all the Blue series plates that are equipped will have that 60% boost in total score, which is fantastic as a center position skill. But sadly to say, you know, since the addition of the 7 star episode plates, you definitely might want to, want to consider using a 6 star as a center position plate. But who knows? Anyways, moving on. Active skill, sadly unlike Makina's, uh, Ray Ray is going the more modern version which is the 5 second duration 70% boost in score. Life skill, score, repeat and damage. So yeah, both Makina and Reyna are proving to be very very useful in the life skill department especially with the stats as well. Alright, let's see if Ray Ray has that special note attached to it, uh, unlike Makina. Um, although Makina's episode plate is very good as well, um, but you know, sadly her plate doesn't come with a special note attached to it. What about Reyna? Oh, okay, so no special note attachment, but that's fine. Looking at the base stats of this episode plate and that really good life skill, I don't think there is much else to say. Um, the stats alone on Reyna's episode plate really needs you to try and do your best to attain this episode plate even if you are not a Reyna fan. If you are a Ray Ray fan, you don't have me to tell you to get this plate no matter what. <laughs> okay, so moving aside, let's do the gacha pulls. We're going with the more usual style nowadays. We're gonna do all the single pulls to see the luck. Uh, within this time period and hopefully this time round we might get Reyna's exclusive plate okay so not much luck with the regular single pool which is okay oh wow I've got quite a decent amount of this episode plate so I don't know it might not be a good sign considering that we did pull a six star episode plate in the last video so that's kind of worrying. Anyways, um, moving along with more free full part, uh, full gacha pools. I'm not sure. Should I use this super dimension ticket? Hmm. Okay. So okay, pretty rare common episode plate. I guess we can't really be reliant on the free pools to entirely predict our luck. Feels like tarot card reading right now. <laughs> Anyways, okay, we're gonna go straight to the discounted pool. Uh, I can only afford the discounted pool, so I won't have a second chance to try at Ray Ray's gacha because I still need to save up for the next few gachas coming throughout the month. So, anyways, let's do this. Hopefully, we get something decent. Okay, some decent speeds for loading. Here we go. Oh dear. One Valkyrie animation. That's kind of worrying. Okay, a single red box on the first bling. Two red boxes. So all I can just hope for is an episode plate with costume points. There it is! I'm happy! <laughs> okay. Oh, we got getting more of them. That's pretty nice. Okay, so this is an old plate for Ray Ray. It'll be nice if it's a new episode plate. Um, because we can reduce the cost or usage of the episode ops. Here we go. Okay, this is an old plate as well. So it's kind of a bummer we don't get too many new episode plates. But, you know. Seeing this notification here is the bare minimum you should ever ask for, especially if you can't buy singing stones for gacha pools. 
this is what you know free to play players should definitely try to look for anyway guys I won't end it here <laughs> we didn't pull anything fantastic out so let's as usual rely on the guaranteed 5 star episode flick gacha to, to end the video with at least something nice well hopefully I mean there are good episode plays in the guaranteed 5 star gacha we've seen them come out before so let's hope for the best here okay so three planes it's likely the box is going to evolve oh wow straight to a rainbow okay <laughs> Hey! So it's Ray Ray's day? I guess. Wow. Didn't expect a radar at Blistle Plate. <laughs> Such coincidence. Oh, it's a new one for me. Okay, let's take a look. I can't really remember the stats on this place, so main thing is... Ow. Oh, it doesn't have a special note attachment, but at least it has that life skill, uh, score damage improvement. Um, so I guess... If you really want to attain a very good high score with the score and damage abilities of the other episode plates, this is definitely going to help. Um, but of course, we have to take note score and damage. Your life is being reduced while playing, so you gotta equip some episode plates that help heal along the way as well. Unless you're that good <laughs> and you don't miss a single note. So, yeah, time to get good, yo. Anyway guys, that's it for today. As usual, let me know your thoughts about everything we mentioned in today's episode in the comments down below. And of course, do all the wonderful stuff, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye!